They wear different boots, speak different languages, and use different helmets, but they all have the same end goal. Paratroopers from Charlie Company of 1st Battalion 503rd Infantry of the U.S. Army's 173rd Brigade and Bravo Company of 3rd Battalion from Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry conducted an airfield seizure on June 11th at Zemsko Airfield in Drosko Pomorski, Poland. The paratroopers started getting ready at midnight and the first jumpers hit the ground shortly after 6 a.m. After they jumped into the airfield, the paratroopers cleared it and created a perimeter. This allows aircrafts to land and for them to take control of the area. Paratroopers from Poland's 6th Airborne Brigade arrived to the field and helped to clear and seize the area. Each team of paratroopers had combined teams from each unit. First Lieutenant Horatio Rivas, Team Poland's battle captain, says this training is important because it prepares the unit to work together in the future. If a conflict were to appear anywhere in the world and we are called to work together, I think it's good to have a past history of, of partnership, a uh, past history of training together that will alleviate later on the, uh, the pains that you cannot take away. For example, language barriers, things like that. Lieutenant Rivas also says the paratroopers were able to earn Polish marksmanship badges and airborne wings. The American, Canadian, and Polish paratroopers have been training together in Poland for about two months. However, all three countries have maintained a positive working relationship for several years. Major James Thamer, commander of 3rd Battalion Bravo Company from PPCLI, says the combined training will provide improvement within his company. I think we are really fortunate to be able to have this opportunity. Uh, I know it's great for our country as a whole to be able to project forces out here and work side by side with allies. But for uh, Bravo Company, 3rd Battalion, PPCLI in particular, I think it, we'll learn a lot and go home from this after we do a handover with the next unit better off than when we came in the first place. Major Thamer also says, although the combined forces have a lot of differences, they also have a lot of similarities and can learn from each other. Reporting from Drosko Pomorski, Poland, I'm Army Private First Class Nicole Baker.